In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to get your ideal client to watch your video all the way through so they're more likely to click on your call to action. So much better than wasting your time on videos that just lay there like wax fruit in a dusty bowl. Even though your ideal client is hyper aware of their problem, they may not know that your solution is the best fit. Hi, I'm Stephen Washer with BrainyVideo.com. The point is, if you reach them effectively, they'll be so grateful and only want to hire you. Case in point, I, I heard this story told by Cal and Rush at a conference recently. A well-known teacher used to suffer from terrible, debilitating stomach pains from the time he was a little boy. It was worse right after a meal. He would double up in pain for hours at a time. Uh, he grew up with this and it never got any better. He just figured this was his fate. Then one day he was teaching a natural healer how to put together a, a marketing webinar and suddenly he went white as a sheet. Oh my God, he says out loud, I think I have a wheat allergy. And just like that, the teacher became the student and the student became the hero. Now, here's the cool thing. He evidently represents about 30% of your market, this, this situation of having a problem and not knowing where it comes from or how to solve it. So, you know, it's worth going for. The question is how? Well, it's not hard at all. First, you think of a small problem just under the surface of their awareness, one that if you simply mention it, it gets a rise. Um, I'll use this simple video as an example. It was about naming your YouTube videos. Now, at the time I made this, very few people were giving thought as to why the naming of videos could have an effect on your ranking or discovery, you know, so it was a good topic. Now, you have to make it interesting. I do this with a method I call 3D absurdity. Uh, you have to make the problem clear and that means going from just under the level of awareness to just above it. It's a short little path but it makes all the difference. So 3D absurdity works by doing two things. One, throwing the problem into relief. That means um, isolating it and, and, and putting lots of focus on it. That's the 3D part. Now the fun part, the absurdity. Well, can you hear me now? Sorry, I, I forgot. Stevie's just like moved in here since we did the green screen demonstration. I think this is his not so subtle way of letting me know it's lunchtime. I want tuna. You don't have to get crazy with this and invent a doppelganger. Uh, now the way I do this normally is to take the problem and exaggerate it a little bit for effect. Now you don't claim that this exaggerated example is the problem. All you really want to do is get a rise. Now, in my video naming video, for example, I used the Shakespearean phrase, a rose by any other name would smell as sweet, which suggested a funny name for a video if Juliet had been reborn as, say, you know, Taylor Swift. This is all it takes for people to watch the video all the way through. And, well, yes, in this case, it, it did have a much higher than average retention rate. So where do you come up with these associations? Simple. Just put two things together that don't go together, uh, like refrigerators and SEO, or gorillas and glue. Oh, actually somebody did that. Uh, or, or cheerleaders and car repair. Anyway, you get the idea. There are even websites that will give you suggestions for absurd associations. Just Google random word generator and you'll have hours of fun putting silly but potentially very effective ideas together so you, you don't even have to be creative. Of course, uh, one of the keys to making this work is just allowing yourself to believe that a video can be more than the sum of its parts. We might be able to help you, but lunch isn't going to make itself. I got to go. You got to you know, feed the beast. Oh, I will say that sometimes knowing how to do green screen uh, can help you come up with more ways to put crazy ideas together. Till next time, I'm Steve Washer with BrainyVideo.com. You couldn't wait three minutes? The tummy wants what it wants.